Robert Buckland. Madam Deputy Speaker, it is with mixed feelings that I address the House today. Feelings of pride in having known my dear friend James Brokenshire, and feelings of deep sadness that he is not here in his rightful place to carry on the outstanding work that he did for his constituency, for my party, and for our country. James and I share a birth year, 1968. I like to think it was a very fine vintage indeed. <laughs> and as my honourable, my right honourable friend, the member for Staffordshire Morelands, has yeah, rightly said, it was at his 50th birthday party that we were able to share really happy memories and positive thoughts about a life that had been well and fully lived. And at that point, uh, unbeknownst to us, a life certainly to friends, family uh, knew about the diagnosis, a life that was about to take quite a dramatic turn for James. Uh, and the last three years have been challenging and tough for Cathy and the family, uh, but also positive in what James achieved uh, for <coughs> research and promotion of the disease of lung cancer. And as we speak today, the Roy Castle Lung Foundation already will be uh, richer to the tune of over £50,000 because of the tribute page that has been set up in James's memory by Cathy and the family. Now, looking at the tributes on that page is something I would advise all yes. members to do. And there's one that I want to read from an anonymous donor. <coughs> and this person clearly was an official who knew James well. And he said this, I've not worked with anyone finer. A man of true integrity, always entirely across his brief, fiercely intelligent and incredibly kind. He was respectful to his officials, as well as rigorous in his questioning of and the testing of policy and legal positions presented to him. He was fantastic at distilling <coughs> complex information into articulate and clear responses in Parliament. I had nothing but respect and admiration for how he did his job and his dedication to public service. Amen to that. Yeah. Um, the Honourable, Right Honourable Gentleman for Hobart Hob and St Pancras mentioned bill committees. Well, at one point, I think we thought that James was about to gather the record for the number of bill committees that he conducted <laughs> as a minister. And indeed, in the particular committee that uh, the Right Honourable Gentleman remembers, I was the other minister uh, sparring with him. We were lawyers together. But it was done with a, not just a respect for process, but a thought as to the outcome. And James was rigorously focused upon the outcome. What solution could we bring to the problem? What benefit could we bring to the wider country? And as my honourable friend for Staffordshire Moreland says, the word nice just doesn't cut it for James. Let me give you the adjectives in conclusion that I uh, will associate with my friend. Driven, quick, persuasive, funny, kind, and decent. Don't make the mistake of confusing those qualities with mere niceness, Madam yes. Deputy Speaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was much, much more than that. Farewell, my friend. Thank you for everything. Yeah. There's so much that we can all say and want to say about James, and I would like to try to give everybody who wishes to speak the chance to do so. So, although we want to say so much, can we please try to say it as briefly as possible?